Third and final town hall meeting for Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms was uneventful, and that's actually big news tonight. You know, Aisha, the previous two were showered with booze and protests. Yeah, Ron, so the goal of each of those community town hall meetings was to really give the community a chance to talk to the mayor, the police chief, and other leaders in their community. But as we recall, two of those town halls took a very heated turn. Hope Ward is here to talk more about that and just wrap this whole thing up. Yeah, so at the first meeting, people in the Buckhead area were concerned about crime increasing. At the second meeting, there was a protest over an officer-involved shooting. So yes, this third meeting was mellow in comparison. We are now down and um... those booze from the first town hall in Buckhead as the mayor discussed the decision to end the city jail's relationship with ICE, prompting a question from the crowd if Atlanta was now a sanctuary city. At the same meeting, Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields talked about the increasing crime rate. We struggled last year with crime being up double digits. It was sickening. We have thrust every imaginable resource up here. And Chief Shields would have to address another upset crowd when a protest broke out during the second town hall meeting. This time it was the investigation of Jimmy Atchison, a young man shot and killed by an Atlanta officer in January. The FBI is looking into it, but the family says for two months, no one from the city, police, or FBI talked to them. The issue is that the department Erica, Erica Shields failed to properly communicate with the family. And I have to own that. And for the final meeting, no booze, no protests, cheering at one point actually when the mayor promised to reinstate funding for this year's Senior Olympics. The mayor and city department heads also talked about getting guns off the street and blight in the area. But at this meeting, the mayor was asked about an investigation into city council about her election. Yeah, about the into her administration. So she vetoed a resolution on Monday um, the, for the council to hire an outside attorney through the auditor's office. And she was asked about that tonight. And so she, you know, she responded. She said that the council wanted to hire an attorney through the auditor's office. She says legally you can't do that. You have to hire an outside attorney through the city attorney's office. So that's why she vetoed it. But she says the investigation continues and she really has no problem with that. Right, so she broke it all down for us.